Now, nothing is official yet, and the court could still vote to uphold the ruling. But the leak has caused a stir among activists on both sides of this issue. Stephanie Haynes has this story tonight from Milwaukee. Molly Sisson has been volunteering as an abortion clinic escort since 2016, including at this one right here on Milwaukee's east side. We help walk them from their car inside and also back out again. We also serve as kind of a buffer for someone to yell it in the interim and hopefully to avoid them yelling at patients. If Roe is overturned, this clinic could close. Molly may have to volunteer elsewhere. It's something she says she's been mentally preparing for. You know something's going to happen, but still really upsetting. A row reversal could mean Wisconsin returns to its 1849 abortion law, which would allow abortions only if doctors determine the mother's life is on the line. Determination that the mother's health is in jeopardy has to be uh, advised by two physicians. So there's a process that needs to be in place. You can't just say, oh, the mom's life was in danger. A report released by the Wisconsin Department of Health Services in 2022 shows there were more than 6,400 abortions in 2020. There were more than 6,500 in 2019. Well, we're out here to be a voice for the babies who have no voice uh, on their own. Dan Miller is part of Pro-Life Wisconsin. He hopes he won't stand outside Wisconsin clinics and talk to patients much longer. We'll let them know who we are. Uh, we have free information for them. We, we try to get in their hands and then uh, we uh, put uh, pregnancy centers uh, across the street. Whatever happens, it's certain that people who fall on both sides of the issue will continue their activism. In Milwaukee, Stephanie Haynes, TMJ4 News. Stephanie, thank you. The Marquette Law School recently polled Wisconsin voters about abortion. That survey released in October shows 61% say it should be legal in all or most cases. 34% say it should be illegal in all or most cases. Again, those are voters in Wisconsin.